Hello, I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, your guide through the ARRL license manuals. The videos in this course follow the manuals section for section. You can get the ARRL license manuals from the source listed below the video. After you watch the video, dig into the corresponding section of the book, study the associated questions, and then come back for the next video. Basically, a control operator is the person in charge of controlling an amateur radio station. And an amateur radio station can be as simple as a handheld radio. It can be as complex as a very large station with beams and rhombics and all that sort of thing. But there's always a control operator. If you operate your own station, you are the control operator. You don't have to worry about anything. This section doesn't really apply to you. Uh, if you let someone else operate your station, you've got to be right there. For example, let's suppose that you're um, at the beach and you're talking with your two meter handheld uh, to your uh, wife who is at a shopping center getting some uh, uh, stuff for your picnic and one of your kids wants to talk to mom. You can use your radio and let the kid talk to mom and vice versa, but you are there you are operating the radio, you are the control operator. Now, uh, there's, uh, the key point is you've got to stay right there. You don't turn your station over to anybody, um, except if there's a guest operator at your station. Now, if you have a technician class station and a technician class licensee drops by, uh, he or she can use your station and do it one of two ways. They can give your call sign slash their call sign, or since they have the same privileges as you, they can just use their own call sign. Um, now, if you have a technician class license and you have an HF radio so you can do 10 meters uh, and an amateur extra comes in and uses your station on uh, another band, like say 40 meters, uh, that operator would either use your call sign slash his call sign or just his call sign. Now let's switch that around. Let's suppose that you are a technician class ham and you are visiting a, a fellow who has an extra class uh, a license. Now, you can operate on the technician bands using your own call sign or you can operate his station on bands that he has privileges for but you don't. In which case you need, you must sign both his call and your call. Okay, it's important just to understand the disparity in privileges right there. It's actually fairly rare and usually when you loan something it's like a handheld uh, to somebody and they'll be using uh, their own call sign for that. Now even a person who has no license can operate. For example, if you go to field day, uh, there's a station there often called a go to station or get on the air and there's usually a ham right there who will assist absolutely anybody who wants to give it a try to get on the air and that's perfectly fine. Uh, you can operate as the control operator as long as that station is using uh, your privileges. Now there's quite a few questions uh, on the test associated with this section and rightly so because a key part of having a radio station is properly identifying it. So uh, pay attention, read them, look at the questions carefully and you'll be in good shape. Thanks for following along with the videos and the book. After you've studied this section in the manual and are satisfied you understand the questions and their answers, Come back here for the next video. The ARRL is the National Association for Amateur Radio, and I urge you to join, even if you don't have your license yet. That way you get QST, the League's monthly magazine full of articles for beginners and veterans alike, or you can choose On the Air, a magazine designed specifically for those new to amateur radio. Until we next meet, 73.